guys so i'm back with a new video and let's talk about sound of violence here i am with another review again i was lucky enough to watch this before it comes out i think it comes out on vod on the 21st of may so yeah i wasn't really aware of this movie but when i learned that this was coming out i thought it was really interesting it had an interesting storyline and it looked visually appealing to me with those like neon lights you know i love that so i got sent a screener for this one which i really appreciate uh, so let's dive into it. So if you don't know what Sound of Violence is about, this is a horror movie about a girl named Alexis that makes music through gruesome murders. That's the basic logline. I think it tells you enough to be interested in, but there's a few more aspects to this. Uh, which I found really interesting. Although I didn't really know the actors in this at first glance, when I read the press kit that they sent me, uh, I was really shocked to see that these were actors that are in pretty big things, which is visible because the acting is pretty good. So the movie stars Jasmine Savoy Brown, who you might know from Grey's Anatomy and Brooklyn 99. It also stars Lily Simmons, which I knew her face, but I didn't really know where I knew her from. Uh, but then I realized I know her from the True Detective, Avai Five O, and the Purge series. And it also stars James Yeager. I think that's how you pronounce it, and Tessa Monroe. Post that, let's get into my thoughts. Right after I finished watching the movie, I was really conflicted. I knew I had seen something different, but I didn't really know if it was a good or a bad thing, and it was only when I really thought about it and after reading the press kit and yeah just really thinking about the movie i realized i did enjoy it but i think the main reason why i enjoyed it was the gory aspect of the movie it was surprisingly gory like really gory and it's curious because I just watched the new Saw movie uh, Spiral a few days ago, uh, last week I think, and that movie compared to this one is not gory. Like I complained in my review, so if you haven't seen my review I'll link it up here, but the new Saw movie lacks more on the traps I wanted more on that aspect and this has a similar vibe, it has some type of traps as well and the traps and the gruesome bits in this movie are way gorier than in the new Saw movie so I really like the aspect about this movie. However, the story itself has a few issues. like. I really connected with the character and I always connect with this type of characters because I myself have some like hearing issues so whenever a movie touches on that topic uh, it really gets to me so that is an aspect that got me and because of that I was maybe a bit more invested than most people but overall I do think the story is original and creative and interesting but it has some like plot holes there's a few things that don't make much sense and other things that aren't really well explained um, i left the movie feeling like some things were a bit off 
and then I read the synopsis that they sent and a lot of things made a lot more sense. However, that's not really a good thing because what they said in the synopsis should have been visible in the movie. Uh, I feel like it could have been explained in the movie through visuals uh, and didn't need to be like explained to you because yes, yeah, some things didn't make much sense. I left the movie wondering about a lot, uh, but then I realized it did make sense. They just didn't explain it properly. And then there's the ending, which is one of the weirdest endings I've seen and weird in like a laughable way, but for some reason it worked. I think it worked mainly because of the tone of the movie. I feel like the movie really knows what it is and the tone is exactly what you needed so that last bit isn't like a comedy because it almost is but it's intense in a way that it's not laughable sort of so yeah it's a fine line it's like it's really really weird the ending but it's not as cringy as you would think if i would explain it to you what the ending is which i'm not because this is spoiler free you would laugh and you would think it was ridiculous but when you see it you know it's weird but you're invested in what's happening that you can't really laugh at it as for the cinematography and the visuals i gotta say that in the beginning they were a bit much uh, in the beginning i really didn't understand i liked like the neon lights and the neon vibes and all of that but in the beginning it looked a bit too much and again it didn't really make sense but as you go on in the movie there's a scene where you realize what is happening uh, and everything makes a lot more sense and I understood what they were trying to do with the neon things uh, so I liked the visuals and same goes for the score and the sound editing I think the sound editing is on point it really reminded me of Sound of Metal you Sound of Metal is obviously a bit more deep and the sound editing is a bit more intense but it's a bit similar and you get the point of view of the character there that is losing the hearing and yeah it's, it's interesting and the score is also pretty good I like the songs that they used the, the music yeah I liked all of that in the end I think this is a really creative movie it's original it's interesting and it's gory uh, so yeah I think people will enjoy this and post that, let's get into my scores. So overall, I give the movie a three and a half out of five. I was really torn between a three and a three and a half. And I gotta say, I pumped it up a little bit because of the gruesome bits. Like the kills were really good and I really liked that aspect about the movie. So I think it deserves a three and a half. But I understand if people give it a lower score like a two and a half or a three sometimes it's a bit too weird as I said cinematography I give it a four out of five as I said in the beginning doesn't make much sense but then it's pretty good and I think the movie looked pretty well made so yeah I enjoyed it in originality, I also give it a 4 out of 5. There's not a lot of movies, and especially not horror movies, about this subject. And I haven't seen any that touches on the specific thing in this movie, which I'm not really commenting on. I'm not saying what it is. 
because it's an interesting thing to realize what is happening. But I haven't seen any horror movie about the subject. And there's not a lot of horror movies that deal with sound. Uh, and that's something that the director wanted to make. Uh, from what I read, he did a short film with this same story. And now he's doing this feature length film. Um, so, yeah. I enjoyed it and I think it is pretty original. So yeah guys, these are my thoughts on Sound of Violence. Uh, I think it is available on VOD on 21st of May. So if you end up watching the movie, let me know what you think of it. If you have seen it already, also let me know what you thought. Especially tell me what you thought of the ending. Did you like laugh at it or did you think it was like pretty intense? Let me know. Uh, and yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll see you in my next video.